you want to see something incredible, you see the picture over here? The picture over here in the dark are basically dormant T cells. Now watch what happens. They're going to expose these T cells to blue light, which is commonly found in sunlight. Check this out. Now keep in mind, this is seven and a half times speed. So it's sped up just a little bit, but still the results are just as amazing. If you're watching them, now the T cells begin to wake up. They activate, they become more mobile. And these are T cells normally found in the skin. And the reason this is important is because when the sunlight activates the T cells in your skin, those T cells can then travel throughout the remainder of the body. This is just insane. This is due to nothing more, no immune stimulants, nothing else, just basic blue light that is commonly found in the sun itself. Just friggin' insane. But that's what happens when your body's immune system gets exposed to the sun. Let's go right into the study. The, basically, the public citation title is as follows, sunlight offers surprise benefit. It energizes infection fighting T cells. Researchers claim as follows. They specifically found that low levels of blue light, doesn't have to be high, found in sun rays make T cells move faster, marking the first reported human cell responding to sunlight by speeding its pace. So it's not exactly creating T cells, it's making T cells much more active and better at fighting infection. So keep in mind also too, to reiterate, the skin has twice as many T cells as normally found in the blood. However, those T cells, when active, begin to mitigate to the rest of the body. Let's go right into the study parameters. Citation title is as follows. Intrinsic photosensitivity enhances motility of T lymphocytes. DOI citation is as follows. Funding, academia, basically no conflict of interest. Study participants, it was in vitro. Study length only took a couple of minutes, as you can see there, basically just uh, a minute or two. Dosage of materials, blue light, and those are your wave spectrums, as basically shown. The T cells, for the human T cells, were basically that particular line. Results, and to reiterate, or basically read the results verbatim from the researchers. They specifically found that low levels of blue light found in sun rays independent of vitamin D, make T cells move faster, marking the first reported human cell responding to sunlight by speeding its pace. T cells, whether they are a helper or killer, need to move to do their work, which is to get to the site of infection and orchestrate a response. This study shows that sunlight directly activates key immune cells by increasing their movement. To go further into research as follows, we know that blue light can reach the dermis, the second layer of the skin, and those T cells can then move throughout the body as we stated. Now let's look at this chart too, give an idea. You see the chart, a little up, upper corner there, you see the control, that's basically just T cells hanging around that doing nothing. Post the blue light, and then they become active. Then if you look at little part C right there, control, and see the activity, basically what happens with blue light, meaning velocity, cell area, they become alive, it wakes them up. Just like it wakes people up, it also wakes your immune system up. But that's just incredible, just the same. We found that sunlight, and this is interesting too, sunlight makes hydrogen peroxide in T cells which make the cells move. And we know that an immune response also uses hydrogen peroxide to make T cells move to the damage or the damage area. It all fits together quote unquote from the research itself. The researchers also state they were so fascinated by the result of just something basic as blue light found in the sun, what type of impact it had on T cell activation, they made a further recommendation. They suggest that if blue light T cell activation has only beneficial responses, it may make sense to offer patients blue light therapy to boost their immunity. So basically, if someone's feeling down, they need a little bit of boost of the immune system until they either get exposed to blue light or go out and have uh, some fun in the sun. Again, blue light, simple, basic, effective, activates the T cells. It's not a drug, it's not this, it's not that. It's common, it's simple, it's natural, and obviously our body has adapted to react to it in a positive way. Again, this is Ralph Turciano signing off. I hope you find this information helpful and useful, and I'll see you all again in seven days. Thank you once again. Catch you in a bit. Bye.